to the channel's number one German fan, Stefan Bream, reckons that this is the best lager beer he's ever had. So let's put his theory to the test. It's beer o'clock and today we have a bottle of the Andexa Burbock Hell coming in at 6.9% ABV. Now this bottle of beer has been kindly sent in by Stefan Bream, um, a German subscriber to the channel, and he reckons this is the best Hell's Lager he's ever had. So I'd like to see what I think of this. Now, the and is, if you just see on the bottle here, it says Cloister Andex. Well, the beer is actually brewed in a monastery. And this monastery, believe it or not, is, is similar to sort of the, the way the Belgians do it in their monasteries, where they brew the beer for sustainability. And it's basically the money that they earn from selling the beer runs the monastery and they don't make any profit so it's they're not allowed to make any profit so basically it's what they what that costs them is what they charge and that keeps the monastery ticking round. Now the interesting facts about this um it's been it's the oldest pilgrimage church in Bavaria um since sort of eighteen fifty and uh, and they've been around since about 1445, so, you know, it's it's quite a um, popular place. Um, and especially this pilgrimage business, you know, um, you know, you don't hear um, people going like for pil pilgrimages to the, the Vihai Stefano Monastery, etc., you know. So, yeah, it's an interesting fact about the, about the brewery. So, let's crack this open. And see if it's as good as what Stefan says it is. I'm just going to take this tap, this cap off carefully because I've, I've, I've got a Barry, one of the subscribers, wants to um, lay his hands on a few caps. I think he got one of them map things or something for Christmas that you've put the uh, the bottle caps in. So I'm saving up some of these because these are ones that you know. He might not be able to get hold of very easily, so these are sort of some rare sort of caps for his, his map of England or the world or whatever it is he's got that I think he's going to be putting them in. So, there's another one for you, Barry. There we go. As you can see, it's that lovely golden straw colour, just like a, a, a sort of a your hells is going to be like. It's got a lovely one and a half finger white. It's a loose foam head on this. There's plenty of carbonation. It's a loose foam head. Let's get the aromas. Oh. This is a lot, lot different than what I was going to expect the Roma to be. Oh. There's a sweetness there. It's grassy, it's malty, there's a sweetness there. It's really complex. That's why it's taking time here. Sweet malt, grass, pepperiness at the end. So let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers, Stefan. Oh, 
less different. This is very, very different. There's something in this I can't put my finger on. It's a malt. It gives this beer quite a unique taste. really coats the mouth as well. There's a fine sort of bitter hoppiness there. This taste Honey like taste. Not not honey that you go in the supermarket, you buy it in a jar. This it's got a honey like taste to it, which is if you've ever had fresh honey from a beehive, it's still got the bits of the, the flaky bits of the um, the honeycomb. In, you'll know what on about because a lot of the time the honey then gets put for a filter to take all them bits of the honeycomb out and bits of you know bits of like leg and wing and stuff off the bees you know um, this is very much got a taste of like a raw real raw form of honey and you're mixing that with a sort of the floral hoppiness and this pepper, now one of the things I've, I've done in the past, I've, I've cooked chicken, chicken legs before, where you just sprinkle them with black pepper, or you, or you, you, you coat them with honey and then sprinkle black pepper on top. And yeah, it's got this, this sort of honey pepper. And it's taken me a while to work out this honey taste actually, it sort of, it's, it's thrown me, if you know what I mean. It really has thrown me. Because um, I wasn't expecting this honey sort of taste in this beer. And then that now, when you sort of, now you work out it's a honey taste beer. And that now explains why it's coat, it's like sticky like honey, it like coats your mouth. a lot of malts here as well. Strong in malts. And that's because it's 6.9% ABV as well. You know, you're going to get a strong sort of malt flavour there. All in all, a very, very good beer that's, that's caught me by surprise, actually. Uh, I, uh, because it's called a Hell's, I was expecting it to be more of a hell's, especially that we just done what a hell's in the in the previous uh, video to this. So it sort of bamboozled me a bit, and I wasn't expecting this. I can see Stefan why you think it's your number one. Um. I'm going to be honest, it's not my number one. But it's in the top ten. Definitely. Um, this is a cracking beer. It's, it's definitely in my top ten of this style of beer. The 
it dissipates quite quick. I don't know if you noticed that, but it's got plenty of carbonation, and the carbonation levels are similar to the to the Iinger, which we done previously. You know, it's, it's just enough to sort of tickle your tongue. This, this particular Berg Bock Hell would definitely appeal to people who don't like lager, right? They're bitter drinkers, you know, they're ale drinkers. I think they would warm to this because of the, you've got these flavours, especially the, 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 the ale drinkers that like the, the, the blonde beers a lot of the time, the golden beers. Because um, a lot of the golden beers have got this, this honey-like sort of taste in them sometimes. And I really, really think anyone who's watching this, if you're not a lager drinker and you're a real ale drinker, and uh, you know you don't like lagers because oh, they're gassy, blah de blah you know. But you like the sort of the ale taste, then this one here is going to be right up your street. It really is. The carbonation level is very similar to the carbonation level of an ale that you can know, hand straight out of the pump sort of thing, which is a natural carbonation. And this carbonation here is, is more like a natural carbonation than an artificial carbonation. Um, yeah, really, really impressed with it, really impressed. And like I say, it's, it's in my top 10 of, uh, of this style of beer. There's no doubt about it. Um, Stefan, thank you for, so much for sending this in. Really is, you know. Um, this bloke, Stefan, as you know, he's sending me in some cracking... Every beer he sends in is a cracking beer, you know. And it, cracking German beers, it's, it's fantastic. Um, really, really is. Um, yeah, massive thanks from me and uh, probably a lot of the subscribers as well because they're getting to see beers that A, sometimes they haven't even heard of and um, yeah, they're, they're, you know, some of them are looking around for some of these beers and I'm getting messages off from them saying, where, where can I get that beer from? You know, so if you want to comment, Stefan, and sort of let people know where they can get this beer from, if there's any websites in Germany that can sort of ship it over to them or something like that, please do because... You know, I'm getting a few messages and and I don't have the answers. You know, I check the beer out and I can put them in the direction of uh, um, places in the UK that you know sells them. But but Germany so it's a lot harder to 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 source the beers and uh, or find a source in Germany that's prepared to ship them over to the UK. It's not like Belgium in a box who who can just go a couple of clicks and have as much Belgian beer as you want delivered to, you in, to your door in about three days. So um, that's that's something. Or maybe Stefan, you, you might have a bit of a business opportunity here, mate. Um, you know, set up a little website and um, you you know you ain't even got to have a stock of beers really because apparently it's quite easy to get hold of it. You know, as I know, it's easy to get hold of the beer. Maybe start up yourself a little shop, an online shop, and uh, as people order the beers, go out to your local supermarkets or wherever you get them from and and uh, pick them up. And send send them you know send them send them people you might you might have a little um, a business you could start up there um, but no it's a fantastic beer look if you can get hold of a bottle of this please please do you know put this on your bucket list this is a beer to try before you die um, get hold of a bottle try it see what you think leave a comment below give us a big thumbs up if you like the review hit that little bell get notified every time I bring out a new one and of course subscribe to the channel. Because without you subscribers, the channel's nothing. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. <coughs> TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly. <coughs>